welcoming was the farming community, given that they're still very much dominated by men? When the farming community saw two women, especially young women, they were and still are a little surprised and incredulous that we can do this. But over the years, they've seen that the fields were well kept and we are indeed growing crops, so they've realized that we can do it too. Yes, at the beginning, there were significant obstacles because, as Giudita said, it has always been carried out by men, but it's true that women can do the job with a different sensitivity. At the moment, the sensitivity that women brings to agriculture is what is saving the sector. The two grow wheat and spelt and from that make their own bread. They're currently renting a bakery nearby but are already building their own on their land. It's too early to say if their venture will be a success, but the risks have far from diminished their ambitions. We don't really get a salary, because if I had to count the hours I work and have a salary according to those hours, our model would absolutely not work. At the moment, I can maintain the employees I have. I have two women as employees, a girl who helps me in the markets and the mother of my partner who also helps us. Giardita is also a local leader of Donne Impresa, a movement promoting women farmers. That night we head to dinner at a restaurant owned by one of its members, Alice Ayodi. Giudita, why are there so many women farmers in Italy? That's because the law changed in 2001, expanding the definition to include other activities. In addition to cultivation and livestock, women have the opportunity to pursue different activities. Diversification for women is becoming the key factor. Mostly it allows them to better express their talents and skills. Agricultural tourism, hospitality, social activities and producing goods. Alicia, why are networks like this so important for women farmers? It is important to have unity in general among people, especially among women, because we have the same goals and the same will to promote each other. So by producing different things, we try to make a single supply chain where we bring more innovation and more emotion. Women do bring a different sensitivity compared to men when it comes to agriculture. That's still dominated by men. <laughs> 